Right, it looks like the White House may be forced to scale back its COVID-19 booster shot plan. The program was supposed to make a third vaccine dose available to Americans as early as September 20th. CBS's Weijia Zhang is hosting Face the Nation this weekend. So good to see you. She joins us live from Washington. And Weijia, I know you're going to be talking to Dr. Anthony Fauci about this possible delay in the booster program. Hi, David. It's great to be with you. And yeah, we are going to be talking to him to better understand uh, what happened between last month and now. Because last month, the administration, including Dr. Fauci, um, wrote out the plan to start administering booster shots starting on September 20th for people who have received the Pfizer or Moderna. Now, I will say everything seems to be on track for Pfizer for people to start getting their third doses eight months after their second shot beginning uh, on September 20th. However, we learned today that there seems to be insufficient data for Moderna. And so uh, the question is, what information are they missing? And when do they think um, that third dose will be available? So he will help us understand that better, in addition to a couple reports that just came out today from the CDC that addresses children and COVID-19. I know parents, myself included, still have a lot of questions about sending their kids back to school. All right. And, and Weijia, the Biden administration is promising to do everything it can to fight back against the Supreme Court, letting Texas move forward with what's been called the most restrictive abortion law in the country. What is the administration planning to do? Well, President Biden has directed several agencies to start working with White House lawyers and uh, his gender policy counsel to answer that very question, to look for things and options that they might be able to have, not only when it comes to helping women who are still seeking care and looking for that, but also to look for legal tools that they might be able to use. The problem is we don't really know what that might look like and a time frame for that. And so we will be talking to a congresswoman from Texas about about anything that she thinks that the administration can do in the immediate aftermath of this very uh, historic ruling. And I also want to find out how realistic she thinks it is for Congress to do anything, because she's a co-sponsor of a bill right now that would help to codify Roe versus Wade, but the votes might not be there, frankly, in the Senate to pass anything. So hopefully she'll give us a level set and a real understanding of what has to happen moving forward to change the law. Certainly an issue that everyone's talking about. And you can watch Ouija on Face the Nation Sunday morning at 1030 right here on WBZ. So nice to see you, Anna Ritas.